Hi guys, welcome back to Calcfly videos. In this video, we're going to be talking about question one from 2017 AP Calculus for Response portion. In this problem, we are given a table where we can see the height values of a tank and also area values for each cross section. Okay, and also we know that A of H is a continuous function and decreases as height increases. And select values for a of h are given in the table as you can see right here and also we are given another another model uh, we're going to be using this uh, function in the later part of this uh, problem okay so let's get started in the first problem it says use the left rim and sum with the three sub intervals indicated by the data in the table and approximate the volume of the tank okay so part a we're going to be trying to approximate the volume using the left rim sum and that's going to be equal to volume equals uh, 2 times 50.3 and plus 3 times 14.4 and as you can see that I'm always using the left endpoints 5 times 6.5 so if I try to calculate and algebraically simplify the answer is going to be equal to 176 0.3 cubic feet. So don't forget to include your answer, include this uh, rate in your answer. Okay. So let's move on to part B. In part B, it says, does the approximation in part A overestimate or underestimate the volume of the tank? Explain your reasoning. Okay. So the approximation in part A is an overestimate. Why? So let me put my note over here because left Riemann sum is always overestimate overestimate for decreasing functions decreasing functions because in the original problem it says the function a is continuous and decreases okay so the left Riemann sum is always overestimate for decreasing functions Okay, all right, so that's why it is overestimate. So let's move on to part C. In part C, it says the area in square feet of the horizontal cross section at height h feet is modeled by this function. F of h is equal to 50.3 divided by e to the power of 0.2 h plus h. Okay, so based on this model, find the volume of the tank find the volume of the tank so basically that's going to be equal to this function represents my uh you know cross section so the volume is going to be equal to uh from 0 to 10 from 0 to 10 because as you can see the times are starting from 0 until 10 so from 0 to 10 then i'm going to put f of h function f of h function e h and since this is calculator permanent problem so if i calculate uh, this definite integral using calculator, I'm going to end up with this following answer, which is 101.325 cubic feet. Cubic feet. And also we need to, um, you know, indicate the uh, measures cubic feet. Okay. All right. Let's move on to part D. In part D, it says water is pumped into the tank. So when the height of the water is 5 feet, so height is 5 feet, okay, and the height is increasing at the rate of 0 0.26. So basically dh of dt is 0 0.26. Using the model uh, from part C, find the rate at which the volume of water is changing with respect to time when the height of the water is 5 feet. So basically what we are being asked to figure out is d, sorry, let me quickly erase that so it's going to be equal to uh, dv over dt that's what we need to figure out using this function okay so let me clean up the board and let me continue over here using a different uh, color so let's use green so volume of the water in the tank can be represented uh, by this volume equals from zero height to until some height h f of x and dx so if i differentiate both sides with respect to time so dv over dt that's going to be equal to f of h 
times dh over dt. We already know dh over dt, which is 0 0.26. Okay? So, this expression is going to be equal. And also, we need to evaluate this expression when the height is 5, which means dv over dt. It's going to be equal to f of 5 times dh over uh, dt, which is 0 0.26. So, you're going to take this 5 and go back over here and calculate f of 5. So substitute right here, we get 50.3 over e to the power of 0 0.2 times 5 will be just 1 of uh, plus 5. So we need to calculate this. And if I use the calculator to evaluate this expression and multiply it by 0 0.26, we're going to end up with this answer, 1.6. Nine four. All right, we got the answer. So we are also being asked to write down the meaning of this answer, which is going to be equal to when height is 5, the volume of the water is changing at a rate of 1.694 cubic feet per minute. Okay, so cubic feet per minute. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching my video. Please stay tuned for the um, following AP Calculus for Response problems. See you in the next. Bye-bye.